Hi, uh, thanks for joining me. Um, this is the mini top hat uh, part two. Um, we've already assembled this one right here and it's still drying uh, for our Christmas caroling hat, top hat. And uh, this is uh, made of the curtain call. This is the mime paper uh, that I made ahead of time and um, we're going to go ahead and embellish this. So I've got um, some ribbons here uh, that I, I cut these out to keep them organized um, out of chipboard and I just cut little notches on here. Uh, I can show you all how to do that. I'm, I basically just took it off of packaging but it works great and you can file them like this. Oh, lots of them too. <laughs> In little shoe boxes. Anyways, I Consider this one right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys um, just so you have an idea of what might go if you have this curtain call paper, what it might look like. Uh, there's the fleur de lis on there, which is really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Let's go ahead and uh, get you a zoom in on that. It's really quite pretty. Whoops. Sorry, dizzy. Is it zooming in on that? So it's really kind of pretty. And then I considered um, this um, chevron pattern right here. Let's see if I can do this one handed. And that is, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Uh, but, uh, with all that being said, I think the one I'm going to stick with is this, um, this, uh, black, shimmery, glittered looking, uh, ribbon. So, okay, so let me put you back up, and here we go. So... I just wanted you guys to see um, some some other options other than what I'm using. Of course, you guys are going to make um, wonderful ones yourselves out of things that you've already got. But just to give you some options. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of uh, guess on this all the way around. All right, right about there. And I am going to use um, my uh, E6000. Uh, I have to open a new pack here. I love this stuff. It um, I used it on Jim's hat. Um, <clears throat> it just holds everything. It's amazing stuff. And it comes in, in uh, these tiny little tubes. Uh, well, you can get it in the larger tube, but these are so easy to work with. So... Let's go ahead and get that opened. It sticks everything. Ooh, and it comes out really, really fast. You do not need much of it, let me tell you what. The only bad thing about it is, is that it can get kind of stringy. Like, um... Can you see the stringy? It can get kind of stringy. If you squeeze it at the base, it'll kind of go back in the tube. It can get kind of stringy, just like um, um, a hot glue gun. Except for when um, the hot glue gun fails, uh, this will still be going strong. <laughs> this is forever industrial type glue. It even says it on the package that it's for industrial purposes. Uh, definitely want to uh, have some adequate ventilation. Okay, look how cute that is. Can you see that? Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Look at how cute that is. Very Hollywood. All right, so let's go back up here. So we've got our little ribbon on there. Got a tiny bit of that glue on me. It, like I said, is forever. And some of the embellishments that um, I had in mind 
right here. Let's see, where's that back seam? You know what, where this back seam is, I am going to go ahead and make that, um, I am going to trim this off and I am going to make that our front seam. Let's go ahead and trim that off. And we're going to cover that right up because I love, I had already glossy accented this, this gal. Uh, let me take you down again. Oh, maybe you can see her. She's wearing the uh, banana skirt. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, Josephine Baker, or modeled after Josephine Baker, that was very popular in uh, uh, the early part of the century, 19th or 20th century. Um, mostly in, in Paris, actually. Anyways, I love her, and I know I want her right here, and she's big enough to cover up that seam. So, let's see if we can get her. I haven't used these tiny tubes, but I do know that if you stand them up, if you stand them up, if you squeeze the base, it pulls it back in. If you stand them straight up, I'm going to stand it over here. Straight up and down that um, it's it stops the flow. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add her right here with her top, that top coming right out there um, to cover up that seam. And let's see, I've got a little dress form, not really. The cameo. These are made of polymer clay as well. This is black polymer clay, and then this is painted with um, um, fingernail polish. One of my favorites, actually. It's called Busted. Uh, this is a little flower dipped uh, dipped in beauty to make it look like a glass flower. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? Oh, it's uh, it does not want to focus doesn't want to focus on that. It's really pretty though. Um, okay, so back up here. So let's see. Now she's kind of a hot tamale. Let's go with the red. Yes, the red looks good. I like the red. Okay, um, this is uh, made from Let's get a little bit of it out there. This is made from um, coffee filters, uh, just punched with um, a single scallop punch, and um, and then uh, misted. Oh yeah, I like that. She's trying to pop up. The only thing about that E6000 is that it does take a little while to dry, so you need to be attentive and make sure that um, everything is staying where you put it. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing me. Uh, maybe need to hold it further down here in the light. As I get closer to the camera, it gets a little too dark. I'm going to have to work out that situation the lighting situation and I do like the cherub and this is also made of um, oh actually this one's made of beauty just like Jim's key was uh, it was poured into a mold like like this uh, actually I think I have it right about here we go here is uh, the cherub and I just melted in the beauty melted the beauty in the uh, Ranger melting pot uh, and then you pop it out it's clear and I uh, I rub some black on there just straight with my fingers and then just a tiny bit of gold on top of it and and uh, it came out really pretty let's see if we can get that one in there look at how cute that is I just love this little cherub 
and I can make hundreds of them if I want to. <laughs> Which is really nice when you don't have to worry about running out of your stash. <laughs> I love making these. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to how to make these. Um, probably next week. So let's go ahead make sure this is staying down. Let's get our little cherub on there. Squeeze it from the base. It's not quite as uh, stringy as, as a hot glue gun, but it's close. Okay, well, I think she's looking pretty good. All right, so let's see if we can get a little bit, a little focus on that. There's my little um, dancing gal in her banana skirt, hot, 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 with uh, the sequins glittery ribbon and the little pom-pom flower made of coffee filters and the little yudied cherub with our mime paper. And uh, I'm, I'm not planning on doing the back. I only did gems because I had to find a way to um, work in the Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> had to work in the tram. Uh, couldn't choose between the two. So, uh, so that's this one. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the, the next one. Okay, let me move you back up. I think this is dry now. Scoot that over. This is dry now, and it's ready for some embellishment, and I already picked some out. Uh, these were some of the ones I was looking at for choices of ribbons that I picked up um, over the holidays so that I would be ready early. This is only my first year of paper crafting, so I needed everything. <laughs> but now I'm uh, like a year ahead, <laughs> so it's great. <laughs> Uh, so I think we're going to go with this this Harlequin type ribbon here and it's really cute I think the tones match well and are not overpowering okay we're gonna go to the end of that green Okay, and let's go ahead and we're going to cover that up. I think, um, I think maybe we are. So let me go ahead and more of the E6000, just tiny little dabs. I'm doing about every quarter inch. You would probably be absolutely fine with every half inch. Um, just be careful of the uh, little strings. They might not come off as easy as hot glue gun strings. Like I said, it's forever. <laughs> it's like a luggage. Not that my luggage is last forever. I don't really get that joke. <laughs> Anyways. I guess that's why I'm not a comedian. Alright, so. Here we go. Let's go ahead and trim off that little bit. Alright, one more. Third time's a charm. Yep. Tiny little dab here. You probably would never see it, but here we go anyways. Alright. I might have been off camera. Sorry about that. So there we go. It's looking pretty cute. Very festive. 
and I made this little poinsettia um, and I sprayed it with uh, some homemade glimmer mist and put a little halfback pearl, little um, gold uh, glitter in there. I think it came out really cute. But what I, I don't have a die for a poinsettia, but what I do have is this. And what I did was I, I used two of these and two of those and cut them all apart in red, uh, Recollections red cardstock and uh, misted them and glued them all together and voila, you have a really pretty poinsettia. Um, who knew? <laughs> I was just experimenting like I do with everything new I get. So let's go ahead, since I love it so much, I'm going to put it on here. Uh, maybe like this, but you know what, before I put that on there, I found these at um, the, um, uh, I think it was Walmart. It was either uh, at the at Walmart or it was at the dollar store. Either way, it was about a dollar um, over the holidays. And I am going to stick these out so that they... I'm going to make them so they stick out on the sides past our poinsettia. Hopefully I get them right. But, yeah, the E6000 is pretty forgiving. So uh, there's one. I'm just gluing down uh, one little leaf. And I'm going to do the same over here. And these are glittered on both sides, so it's a... Whoop, get, I'm trying to squeeze the bottom of that so it doesn't seep out. Woo, that really got cockeyed. Okay, so... Let's try that. One high and one low. Something, something like that. We got a little bit of wiggle room though, um, because this takes a little bit to dry. And I'm gonna get a large area on this and a little thick because it's got to go past those um, chipboard glittered leaves of holly to the paper. Let's see here, how about, how about right here? I like that. That looks very festive. If I were, if I had a good enough voice to go caroling, uh, I would totally wear this hat. <laughs> Even miniature. <laughs> so I think this one, since the flower was already ready, um, and pre-made pieces, I think this one is just about done. Let's go ahead and do a zoom on this one. So you can see it. I, I think it really looks Christmassy. I like it. Upside down, music, sheet, and all. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Except for everybody on YouTube. Well, I hope you guys like it. And uh, I hope you guys make a bunch of them. Enjoy making them. And uh, I will have uh, the video on uh, the tutorial for Caesar's little steampunk baseball hat within the next few days, definitely by the end of the week. Uh, so don't forget to check in and uh, take a peek at that one too. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any comments, any tips, I'd love to hear them. So thank you very much and have a great night. Thanks. Bye.